Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have got another Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 Prestige class description for you. And today, from the Complete Warrior, we've got ourselves... Again, wrong page. I'm really bad about that. The War Chanter. So, we're going to talk about the War Chanter. So, we're going to talk about what the War Chanter is. We're going to talk about uh, what it takes to become a War Chanter. We're going to talk about... Uh, what you need, uh, what you get as a war chanter, and finally we're going to talk about uh, how you might uh, pretend, how good they are, and how you might potentially use them as a build. So let's get started. So the war chanter, um, basically, they are a kind of bard that uh, uh, prefers melee combat um, to the whole casting thing. Um, they, they prefer to focus more on the melee combat and the uh, and the bardic music side. Um, and they prefer to pick bardic music that helps with that combat, particularly. Um, so, yeah, and they have, they have their own type of music um, that's very similar to bardic music, uh, their own war chanter music. Um, so that's basically what they are, um, fairly straightforward and simple. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about what it takes to become a war chanter. So, fairly simple. Uh, you have to be non-lawful. Um, that's a requirement for bards anyways, I'm pretty sure, so no big deal. Um, base attack bonus plus four. Okay, not a huge issue. Um, perform, uh, sing, or perform oratory six ranks. Um, easy enough. And also, you're going to want that. Like, you're going to want that skill maxed out if you're going to be in this class. Like, yeah. Um, combat expertise uh, and weapon focus. So you're going to need to take both those feats. Uh, weapon focus, I guess, can be any weapon since it doesn't specify. Um, and be able to use um, Inspire Courage. And that's it. So pretty pretty basic stuff. Um, let's talk about what they get. So first off, D8 hit dice. It's not bad. Um, it's okay for a martial build and um, better than a bard gets. So that's something. Um, good base attack bonus. So that's great. Uh, good fortitude save, um, and not so great reflex and will saves though. But you know that's fine. Um, uh, skills uh, four plus int. Skill list is okay. Uh, could be better, but it's got some all, all right stuff on there. Uh, no spotted listen though, so that's kind of an issue. Um, those are just really good skills, um, and uh, that's it for the chassis. So let's talk about the extra stuff they get. So. They're also going to get um, Inspire Toughness. Uh, so it's a type of bardic music or war chanter music. It's effectively the same thing. We'll get to that in a sec. Um, but um, uh, so Inspire Toughness, first level. Uh, basically, um, it's like uh, that you can give uh, everybody, um, you know, two temporary hit points for every uh, level you have in the class. So, you know, maximum level 20 hit uh, 20. Uh, temporary hit points, which isn't bad, especially if you have a bunch of low-level guys in your group. Uh, that can mean a lot to like a first, a bunch of first-level warriors or something. Um, so that can be super helpful if you have a big army of low-level guys, make them far more effective. Uh, that goes really well with uh, some stuff they get later on in the class. Um, and also they get the die-hard feat, which helps even more because they don't actually die and uh, they can still fight until they actually hit negative ten. So really great. Um, especially if you have a lot of like low level allies. Uh, anyways, uh, next, uh, War Chanter music basically just stacks with bar, uh, basically just War Chanter music stacks with Bardic music, um, for the purposes of how many, uh, you know, uh, Bardic music uses you can do per day. Like, it's the same, it's the same pool, uh, Bardic music uses and War Chanter music. Uh, like, it's, it's the same pool. Um, uh, and, you know, it's just class, le you just add your class levels together to figure out how many times per day you can do it. Um, on top of that, um, uh, this doesn't actually progress any of the other bardic stuff. Um, it just makes this, yeah. Uh, I don't think it would make your Inspire Courage any stronger either. Uh, that one's a little bit up in the air because it's no, uh, not specifically mentioned, but you definitely don't gain new um, inspirations. Um, so let's see, after War Chanter music, you get Inspire, Rec uh, eh, Inspire Recklessness. This one's kind of interesting. Basically, it'll let you, uh, take, um, 
one uh one ally that's within 60 feet and let them um uh, or yourself even uh let them take a bonus if they choose um uh, to their uh take a penalty to their if they choose to their ac and then add that to their attack roll um so that's kind of nice and it stacks with other things that do the same so pretty nice um makes you more accurate in exchange for um you know making you easier to hit making you easier to hit so you sacrifice your uh you know your your safety in exchange for your ability to hit can be useful uh, especially if you're on your own uh you get combined songs at fifth level that one's interesting that one will allow you to um well combine songs if you have multiple uh you so you can view two different um, bardic inspirations or um, war chanter inspirations at once, uh, which is rather nice. You get double the bang for your buck for it, so very very good. Um, let's see, inspire awe. Uh, this one will make it so that you can actually uh, hinder your al uh, not your allies, your enemies, um, any uh, foe that's within uh, that can hear you uh, is going to have to make a will save uh, that's going to be equal to. 10 plus your uh, War Chanter level plus uh, your char uh, uh, Charisma modifier, which, um, and then they'll take some penalties for that, uh, up to five levels stronger than you. Uh, and some of them are pretty good, especially if they're like way lower level than you. Um, so this can be really good at dealing with um, like low level guys. And, de and actually pretty decent at guys that are it's the same level as you or even slightly stronger. So quite good actually way better against weak guys though because those guys will just paralyze with fear or flee in terror um whereas guys your level you know they're just going to become frightened or shaken but those are significant penalties and definitely worth it <laughs> definitely worth it um you get singing shout um this is just something you can do at the start of combat to give uh you and everybody who can hear you a plus four enhancement bonus to strength not bad especially if you have low level allies um, and then of course this, the big one that you get at level 10 is inspire legion. Um, this one is a little more restrictive than, uh, some of the others. Uh, this one requires that, um, uh, in order to gain the benefit, you ha they have to be in earshot when it starts. And if they lose, uh, the ability to hear, uh, at any point, they lose the ability, they lose the benefits and do not regain them if they suddenly regain the ability to hear. Uh, something that's not generally true of bardic music, um, but it is for this, so that is a bit of a downside, but the upsides are kind of worth it. Um, basically, um, uh, everybody within uh, who's in part, who is part of this effect, um, and I think uh, it has to be within 60 feet, yeah, it does have a 60 foot radius, so uh, at least for the start, um, the rest it just has to be, um, let's see, they have to stay within 60 feet too, so that is a bit of a downside. Um, but 60 feet is a pretty good radius, and on top of that, what they get is insane. What they get is uh, um, they have their atta uh, base attack bonus uh, replaced with either the highest base attack bonus person in the group or the character level of the war chanter whichever's higher um which is pretty crazy especially once you get to epic levels when um you know uh, base attack bonus uh you know isn't going to be increasing every level it'll only increase every other level so like everyone has a bad base attack bonus at epic so um the fact that you can raise it up that high is pretty insane um there is some argument to say that um it's not going to uh, be character level once you get to epic. Some argument for that, but that's a bit of a DM call. Um, mostly having to do with the fact that uh, the, this was not written with epic in mind. <laughs> Let's be real. like The, the authors of this did not um, consider um, epic progression when they wrote that. Um, yeah, uh, it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, uh, oh, they also get a plus two bonus on damage as well. So that's also like, that's okay. Um, so yeah, they, everyone gets a nice, nice bonus. Um, now that's all they get, but that's some pretty good stuff. So let's talk about how good they are. Um, 
like I kind of just said, they're, they're pretty solid. They get some really, really good stuff. Now, they don't get any uh, spell casting, uh, so, you know, don't expect that. This isn't a caster build by any means, um, but, um, you know, it wouldn't be terrible uh, if you did it on... You, you could do full bard uh, for six levels and then go into this and then drop some other, um, you know, bardic uh, class, uh, prestige classes that advance music. Um, uh, that would be a decent way to do that. Or you could just do like a single level of bard and then, you know, fighter or uh, barbarian or something. If you want to do like a barbarian, uh, which is a kind of a fun build to try. Um, uh very, very interesting. Very, very susceptible to calm emotions since uh, calm emotions completely gets rid of any benefits uh, uh, from this class. Um, same with Bard. Uh, same with Barbarian, too. Um, but, you know, there's a will save to prevent that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, calm emotions is a bit of a weakness for this kind of a build. Um, although, if you have a bunch of uses, you can always just start it back up the next turn. So, it's not as big a weakness um because you know you get a number of uses of this equal to the number of class levels uh per day so that can be quite a lot so yeah um yeah uh i think the fact that they can do double music's really nice um some of these abilities that they have are particularly good i would say uh, inspire legions really great uh, inspire toughness can be great as well like if you have an army of like level one guys um you can make them suddenly uh have you know 20 temporary hit uh hit points which is you know triple what they normally get uh and on top of that they are also going to have um you know uh, the base attack bonus of someone so that they can actually hit and they're going to do two extra damage like you just made your you just took this army of garbage and made it actually somewhat effective um they can take a bit of a hit now and they also um can dish a bit of a hit um so not not entirely terrible um you could also instead of doing the whole inspire toughness uh throw just your basic uh inspire courage in order to get some extra attack and damage um, throw in some dragon fire inspiration maybe to do a bit of that there's all sorts of options you can do with this um, lots and lots of cool things that can be done uh, so yeah um, very good um, can easily be combined with other um, prestige classes that are of similar nature uh, that focus on the music and not on the spell casting because you're not going to want anything that focuses on spell casting uh, you're going to want that base attack bonus as high as you can get it um, so yeah, um, that's all I got to say about that one. Um, you can get in a pretty early level too, as it looks like six ranks, um, is only going to require you to be like, uh, what level three, um, plus uh, base attack bonus of four. Okay. That's going to require at least level five from that since bards do not get a base attack bonus at first level. Um, so that's a bit of an issue. Um, so you could take one level of Bard. Um, or, I mean, I guess uh, since Bards have the three-quarter base attack bonus, you could do like four levels of Bard and uh, do a couple levels of Fighter or whatever um, since you're not really losing out on too much, especially with base attack bonus. A um, lot of ways you can make this work. Um, yeah. Uh, that's really all I have to say about the War Chanter, though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 videos. Because um, I do one of these on every single class, race, and prestige class in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. So ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.